Here's a tweet I saw yesterday from Robert Picardo, and I probably don't need to tell you who Robert Picardo is. Everybody knows Robert Picardo. He played Dr. Dick Richard on China Beach. And he tweeted an image of a meme, and the meme that he tweeted says this. Dear singers and actors, we spend our hard-earned money to hear your music and to watch you pretend to be characters in movies and on TV. Your only job is to entertain us, to take us away from reality. Your personal opinion means nothing to us. You are significant and influential only in your own mind and within the minds of your elitist peers. You are a marionette to us. Nothing more. Sing. Act. Shut up. And here is Mr. Picardo, star of China Beach's measured response to that meme. Dear whomever wrote this, you do not deserve to be entertained. You have no humanity in your dark, angry soul. Every American enjoys the freedom to express themselves, regardless of their chosen career, and your obvious jealousy that others may value our opinions is not our concern. Number one, I completely agree and sympathize with what Robert Picardo, star of China Beach, has to say there. Obviously, he is coming at it specifically from the angle of an actor, of one of the artists that that meme is telling to shut up, and he takes umbrage at that, and he should, and good for him for expressing himself on that, and good for him for using his platform to express himself in general. Robert Picardo, like many actors who, in addition to being on China Beach, by the way, he also starred in a Star Trek series, I believe, in the 90s, and because of that, he has a certain level of fame. He has a fan base and uh, a certain degree of notoriety, and he uses that to speak out on political issues and social issues occasionally. And he is a voice for tolerance and acceptance and equality and progressive politics, and as are a lot of other Star Trek actors and a lot of actors in general and a lot of um, singers and musicians in general. And good for him and good for anybody who uses their platform to speak out and speak their mind and try to make this country and the world in lar at large a, a better, more accepting, more enlightened place. Good for him. But what I find interesting about that meme, coming at it from a different perspective, because I am not a famous actor or singer or artist of any kind, what I find interesting about it is the absolutely bleak view of art that is indicated by that meme. I mean, think about what that meme writer is saying. Think about what they must believe to honestly write that, and, and what all of the people who agree with that and have expressed similar sentiments must believe about the nature of art and its proper place in our lives. He says, you're a marionette to us. He says, your only job is to pretend to be other characters, or to sing songs so that we can have an escape from reality. That's all we want from you. That's it. What a grim view of art. What a shallow view of art. And now look, I'm not saying that there aren't times when I just want to escape. There are times when I'll turn something on TV or listen to a certain song or do something, do do any one of any number of things, that I'm doing that because I just want to forget about other stuff. I don't want to think about politics. I don't want to think about social issues. I don't want to think about atrocities and tragedies happening in the world. I just want a little bit of a break from that. So there are certain kinds of art, certain activities, certain things that I enjoy that I turn to for that. So I'm not saying that it's completely illegitimate to say, Sometimes I just want to turn my brain off, or sometimes I just want to escape from reality. That's completely fine. That's good. That's healthy, I think, to do that every once in a while. And it's good to have that option. And you do have that option. There are many movies and TV shows and sports and kinds of music and things to do that serve that function beautifully. You have that option, and you should have that option, and if you need to take that option to take a break for a little bit, you should do that and not feel guilty about it. But to suggest that that is the only purpose of art, to suggest that the only legitimate role that art should play in our lives and in our culture is as escapism, as apparently completely apolitical escapism, 
is such a sad idea to me. It's such a sad idea that I question whether or not the people who say it really mean it. Because it's one thing to react in a negative, angry way when you see an actor or a musician or an athlete or someone else who is famous for doing something that is not, directly speaking, a political thing. If they express an opinion that you find offensive or that even if you don't find it offensive, that you just you just disagree with it and you'd rather not hear from them. It's one thing to react negatively to that and to say, oh, God, there he goes again. You know what I mean? I've had that experience, too. Not about people like Robert Picardo, but there, I mean, God, I'm, I love Superman. I thought Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Superman was a great show. I still think Lois and Clark is a great show. Dean Cain, who played Superman in that show, as it turns out, is a huge right-wing piece of shit. And there's just no getting around that. Dean Cain is a huge, right-wing, Trump-loving piece of shit. He's a bad person with bad opinions on things. And when he expresses his opinions, and I see them or hear them, I sometimes will roll my eyes and go, oh, Jesus Christ. You know? Because it's disappointing. It's disappointing that a guy who was a pretty damn good Superman is actually a huge piece of shit in real life. It sucks. And occasionally, I have offered a counter-opinion. I have maybe retweeted something he said and made fun of him for it, or rebutted it in some way. You know, if I felt like I had something of value to say or something clever to say in response, I've done that sort of thing. I don't think I've ever said that he should shut up or that he should never express his opinion on things or that anybody on the right should just never express their opinions on things if they're if they're a famous actor or whatever. If, if you're the star of one of my favorite TV shows and you have like a bullshit right-wing opinion, well, you should just shut up and act. You shouldn't ever say anything. There are certain opinions that I wish people didn't have because they're incredibly harmful and hateful, but it it's just, it's never entered my mind to publicly call for actors or singers or whatever who have opinions I don't agree with to just silence themselves across the board because I feel like I'm entitled to watch Lois and Clark or, you know, the, the, uh, the Legendary Adventures of Hercules starring Kevin Sorbo or some other show or movie featuring uh, an actor who turned out to be a massive piece of shit in real life because it's, it's harder for me to enjoy that if I know that they are speaking out about bullshit right-wing opinion. So for my sake... And for the sake of my ability to enjoy the art that they have made, they should shut up. Like, that's just such a juvenile expectation. I've never said that or thought that or felt entitled to that. But that's only part of it. The, 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 the juvenile sense of entitlement in that meme that Robert Picardo shared is only part of it. Because going back to my original point, it's also the indication that art itself should just be escapist. It's not just that the actors who make the art or the singers who make the art shouldn't express their personal opinions because that taints it somehow in the minds of these people. It's also the indicate. I mean, and the meme was obviously made in response to that, but the attitude expressed in the meme also suggests that they just want art to be apolitical and just pure mindless escapist entertainment all the time. Because the meme says, this is your only job as an actor or as a singer. Your only job is to give us a chance to escape from reality. That's all we want from you. He doesn't say part of your job is to do that sometimes, but part of your job is also to make us think, to challenge us, to challenge our perceptions, to challenge our opinions, to challenge our assumptions. Part of your job is to move us, to make us feel things, to break our hearts, or to bring us joy. Part of your job is to introduce us to characters who are interesting people in their own right and who maybe remind us of ourselves or remind us of people in our lives whose stories, though fictional, we can connect with because we find commonality in them. None of that. 
He doesn't leave any room, and I'm guessing it's a he. I'm just throwing it out there. The person who wrote the meme, he doesn't leave any room for any of the deeper purposes or the deeper effects that art can have. There's no room for emotion. There's no room for communication. There's no room for any kind of messaging, whether it be social or political. No room for any kind of art that calls us to be better, that calls us to be critical of ourselves or our society, that calls us to appreciate things that maybe we don't appreciate, or to question things that maybe we don't question so easily. It's nothing to do with any of that, according to the creator of this meme. It's just escapism. It's just escapism. That's your only job. That's all we want from you. That's all we need from you. In fact, we demand you give us only that. How sad. How sad that the only kind of art that you are saying that you will tolerate is just vapid escapism. And again, there's a place for that. Nothing necessarily wrong with that. What's wrong is the expectation, the demand, that all art should be that way. That art that makes you think, that art that reminds you of the real world, that art that challenges you, that that's that's out of bounds. We don't want that, they say. We don't want that. And I question whether they truly believe that, whether they truly mean that. If they saw a movie that perfectly expressed a bullshit right-wing opinion that they themselves hold, that reminded them of reality, but in a way that they found affirming, would they walk out of the theater? Would they turn off the TV in disgust? Would they stop listening to the song, whatever the piece of art was? I don't think they would. I don't think they would. And even if it wasn't an explicitly political sentiment, a lot of people on the right, a lot of conservative people, they have a, a very sort of traditionalist love of the military especially the military in, in generations past. You're telling me if one of those people saw Saving Private Ryan or some other feel-good, patriotic, yay America's military movie, that they would be offended by the fact that it's not pure escapism? That they would be offended by the fact that it made them think about things? That it made them feel things? That it forced them to confront a segment of reality? I don't believe they would do that. Because deep down in their hearts, they know that there are certain kinds of art that do touch reality in a direct way, that do evoke the real world, that are not interested in being pure escapism, but they love that art because it affirms them, because it doesn't contradict their worldview because it tells them that something they already loved was great. So see, it's not the existence of political content or the existence of social commentary or the existence of art that refers directly to the real world or evokes things outside the narrow boundaries of pure mindless escapism. It's when that happens and the opinion being expressed or the thing being evoked or the question being asked is something that contradicts their worldview or makes them uncomfortable or makes them feel called out. Oh, they hate that. If you show them a TV show or a movie or play them a song or whatever that makes them feel called out, that they think is asking them or even just indirectly suggesting that they should do something different in their lives, that they should change their mind about something, that they should reconsider a belief that they've held. Oh my God, they hate that. They hate that. That's the kind of thing that makes them say, oh, it's too preachy. Ah, it's too preachy. It's, it's too woke. It's too political. God, I hate that. Why do things have to be political? Why does everything have to be so preachy and politically correct? That's the kind of thing that will get them to have that response but something that reinforces their beliefs, reinforces their values, 
They're never going to complain about that. They're never going to say, oh, God, I wish they'd just leave politics out of it and just tell a story. Just let me escape for a few hours. They're never, they're never, they're never, ever, ever going to say that because that's not what they believe. That's not what they're demanding. They're not actually demanding completely apolitical escapism in all of their art. They're demanding art that either is completely apolitical escapism or that never, ever, ever challenges them. And that is not only a juvenile and petulant demand, that is an unreasonable demand. And in that meme, that is a demand that is being made on behalf of everybody. That meme very presumptuously says to artists, to actors and singers specifically, shut up, shut up and act, shut up and sing. All we need from you is for you to perform your art and let us have some escapism. That's all we, meaning everybody, meaning the audience in total, needs from you. And to the people who wrote that meme and the people who believe that, I just would like to inform you that you have no right to speak for the rest of us. Because while I do enjoy some escapism now and then, I also enjoy art that is challenging and probing and heartbreaking and difficult to watch, and uplifting, and joyful, and life-affirming, and art that shows me things I might not see otherwise, art that allows me to feel a sense of connection with other people about things that we have all experienced in real life, art that makes me question the way I live my life and makes me think, should I do something different? Am I part of the problem? Do I need to change something about myself or the way I live? I would not want to do without art like that. I think art like that is incredibly important to me as an individual and to us as a country in the United States and to us as a civilization, to us as a species, as humanity all over the world. It's incredibly important. Art, in all the different forms it takes, is how we tell ourselves who we are. It's not just about escapism. It's about talking to each other. It's about telling stories to each other and for each other and with each other. It's incredibly important. It's one of the most important things that we human beings do. It's one of the defining parts of our existence. And to demand that we shrink that down and only do that in superficial, shallow, facile ways that won't challenge us, that won't remind us of the big, scary, real world, ever? I'm sorry. You don't get to make that demand on behalf of everybody else. And unlike you, the people who wrote that meme and the people who believe that, I'm not going to tell you to shut up, although I kind of wish you would. But I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to demand that of you. Because I have no right to demand that of you. I do feel like I have the right to make one small demand of you, however, and I'm going to make it right now. I'm not going to tell you to shut up. But I am going to tell you, from now on, speak for yourselves. <laughs>